Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? This is your next week in Train Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of The Sims Busting Out. Yes, welcome back. Sayonara. Wait, no, 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 that means goodbye. All right, anyways, I'm a little upset. I'm a little distraught because, uh, well, you know, I pulled a no no. I actually recorded this episode already, but I had to restart because I'm a dumb dumb. I'm a dodo. And, uh, you know, I, there's a little thing called a USB plug that I forgot to plug into my computer from my microphone. And so the whole thing recorded on my, uh, on my laptop's mic, and it sounded like trash. And the worst part about it was that I saved over the game, so, <laughs> of course, you know, that's something I would do. So, yeah, it ended up me having to restart the game, luckily... Luckily, I was uh, not too far in, so it was easy to uh, get back to this point in the game. And uh, yeah, you know, I tried to keep everything as uh, as, as sp similar as possible to the previous episode, but some things might be off, like my money, maybe my relationships, or should I call them relation shits? No. But my relationships might be a little bit off with the number, but I try to keep them similar. <sighs> but anyways, it's alright, it's alright, we're good. I got it plugged in now, I made sure I got it plugged in, and we're back to this point. Oh god, god, time for work, time for work, get going. Run, 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 dun, 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 dun. Alright, so while my guy's off at work, what's going on, guys? How you guys doing today? Oh my god, we got promoted in the last episode. I'm gonna try and get promoted again in this episode, but who knows? We'll, we'll see how far we get, you know? Oh, we got a new guy here. Oh, okay, he's gone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, um, you know what sucks about restarting episode? It's like you have such great commentary, you know, you just you just on fire, and then you realize, oh fuck, I messed up. I gotta restart the whole thing, and it's never gonna be the same. It's never going to be the same, you know. Like I'm gonna forget. I'm not gonna remember everything that I said in the last episode, and even if I do remember what I said, I'm not gonna be able to match it perfectly, like how I said it in the last time. Like that's stupid. That's stupid, man. I got 150 today. Nice. Oh yeah, you can press the X button on the GameCube controller to uh, do the walls. Annie McMurray, if you're watching, I know you had trouble in one of your Sims episodes. You were like, I can't get the camera to look at them properly because the walls are in the way. Well, I get you probably know about this, but you know you can always do this. You can put the walls like this, so it's not too hard. I don't, I don't mind. I mean, the walls really aren't a big deal to look at, so. All right, let's see what we need to do today. One thing we need to do is get our freaking mechanical skill up. Oh, come on, bro. Get your mechanical skill up. You know, get your mechanical skill up. Because if you don't get your mechanical skill up, you're not going to be able to fix that thing in the overlook in the corner right there. <clears throat> yeah, you know, Mimi's house is just the basics, bro. We are moving on up. Oh, look at her over here. I think I stole her bed. Look at her in her PJs. Yay, okay, all right. Nice, nice. I like it. You know, should we risk it? Should we try and get to the second? Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll meet this guy, because every time you meet a new person, apparently you get a new apparel. Oh yeah, also, every time you load up the game... Uh, every time you load up the game, uh, you have the option to change your sim's uh, appearance. So don't think, like, at the beginning of the game, when you dress your sim and make them look that way, don't think that's the only time you can do that. Because there is no possible way to do it in the game, I don't think. Yeah, see, like, it's not like The Sims 3 where you can go over to the, the dresser and change any to any outfit you want. You can just quit out of the game and then uh, load it back in and you'll be able to change your guy. Like, it loads you into the dressing room. And then, yeah, but... Anyways, let's get to a story. Let's talk about something else besides the game for a second here, huh? Uh, yeah, I recently uh, caught up on the MCU. If you don't know what MCU is, it's Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, uh, yeah, the... Honestly, the newest movie that I had watched was Iron Man 3 because that came after the Avengers movie I think so yeah that was the newest one I watched um, so you know with Age of Ultron already out and Captain America Civil War on the way like coming out like in two months and shit like I had to catch up bro because it looked awesome so I binge watched all the movies you can rent them if you have an Xbox or anything I guess you can rent them for like three bucks five bucks not too much money you know but the problem is, is that there's so many goddamn movies now. 
it's like nearly impossible to keep up. Like it's definitely, it's definitely gonna take a lot of your time to watch them because all the movies are like two, almost three hours. So yeah, I ended up watching uh, Captain America, both one and two, over again. Uh, Thor, both one and two, and then I ended up watching. Uh, Fuck, what's that one? God damn it. You know, I, I said this in the last episode that I recorded too, and I forgot the name again. It's fucking G Guardians of the Galaxy. There you go. Jesus Christ. I ended up watching, uh, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. I never seen that one. And then I watched Ant Man, and I also watched Age of Ultron, and I, I can't believe that I haven't watched that yet. You know? Age of Ultron was fucking awesome. Jeez, man. You got the Falcon. You got freaking War Machine now. You got freaking Scarlet Witch. I can't believe. I'm not even going to say it because some people might not have seen the movie, but there is a uh, new character. I guess mm, he's kind of like the Flash. Quicksilver, I think his name is. He's, uh, yeah, I can't believe, I can't believe uh, the dis distractions in the movie towards the end, you know? Yeah, if you haven't seen it, go watch it, you know? You're missing out. Alright, look at this guy, man. Like, come on, dude. Like, what does it take you half a fucking day to fix a... What is this, a coffee machine? Bored already? Yeah, kinda. Jeez, come on, man. Alright, almost there. Jeez. God. Once I fix this, I better get paid. You completed a goal. Yeah. We got the repairman. Now I'll never have to fix things again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Alright, so uh, I can't believe I didn't do this in the last episode, but... Oh, actually, fuck, I probably should have ate. Whatever. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna trade this freaking Faggio scooter in for this fucking badass fucking race car that I'm about to get right now. Check this out. No! Oh, if you ever visit my dumb brother, make sure you use sign language. You know what? Screw you, Mimi. Screw you. No! Alright. <laughs> I like how it glitched there for a little bit. You can see it on the screen, but it's not coming in from that way. It's coming in from this way. Look at that. Okay, in reality, this will never fly, bro. This will never happen. You will never be able to trade in a scooter for a fucking Imposter Z, you know? Or S. Imposter S. Whatever this car is called. Look at this shit. Alright. Oh, a nice park job. Look, I parked on the curb. Like, come on, bro. What are you doing, dude? Alright. So, we're gonna go do what Mimi told us to do. We're gonna go to her bro's house, and we're gonna use sign language, and then we're gonna bounce, because that's how we roll. That's how Ace Steel does things. Damn. Like, if you're not a steel, like, what are you even doing with your life, dude? Like, come on. And also, look at how badass we look right now. You know? Like, we look like little pansies riding to Mimi's house on our freaking, our first, our scooter and shit, you know? Now look at us, we're driving race cars and shit. I'm almost half tempted to pull up next to a police officer and rev my engine, bro. Like, that's how, that's how awesome. I am right now. I mean, look at my shirt, you know? Anyone who leaves the top button off of the shirt is a badass. Alright. I like how uh, when you go to Deli's house, like, freaking grass just cuts off. All of a sudden, we're in a desert. Like, Dudley lives in, like, a trailer. Like, straight-up trailer. But look at the, look at this guy's crib, man. He's got, he's got everything, dude. Dude, what's up, bro? Alright. Look at this guy's house. He has like a triple wide. If, if any of you live in a trailer, you know what a double wide and a single wide is. This guy has like a triple wide. Holy shit. And uh, yeah, man, he's he's balling. Look at this shit. He's got two bedrooms, a freaking air hockey machine outside, a jacuzzi. What's up with the jacuzzis? Why does everyone have a jacuzzi in this game? All right, let's go use sign language on uh, little bro. Little bro. Yeah, fuck you. He's like crying and shit. Oh, yeah, we get the skull scrub. Shrub. Also, look at how dirty this guy's house is. I think if you move here, one of the objectives is to clean up the house. But, yeah, like, seriously? Like, come on. Who is this dirty? See, you, I can understand, like, clothes and shit being all over the floor, but this guy just has straight-up food and shit. Like, garbage all over the floor and shit, you know? Man, this guy's just not... He's not, uh... I wonder if we can answer his phone. I don't even know where his phone is. The phone's ringing. All right, it's not going, you know. We're we're gonna go. We're leaving. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. Uh, all right, let's go. Look at my park job. Jeez. Later, dude. All right, dot dot dot. You know he. You know, if if you ever get dot dot dotted at the end of your sentence, you know something's wrong. I think I, I think I've explained this before in some other episode of some other game, but we're coming back to it now. If you get triple dotted, 
You are in the red zone, my friend. Red zoned. <sighs> Saving to the memory card. You have to tell me every time you save, yes. Because if they don't tell you, some idiot's gonna turn off their game thinking there's an autosave feature, and there's not. Okay, well obviously there is if they're saving right now. Actually, I think it's in loading? No, it's saving. Actually, this is crazy, you know? Autosave feature in a GameCube game? Wow. You know? Not saying that there aren't any autosave features in any GameCube game, but just... Back then, it was rare. You know? Haha. <laughs> rare. Donkey Kong. Nah, whatever. Alright, we're back in Mimi's house. Let's see. What shall I do? Well, one thing we want to do for sure is try and get our charisma up, but we're definitely not going to be able to do that with these stats. Like, we need to go read a book or something, bro, because I'm, I'm... Man. I'm in the red zone right now. My guy's, like, about to die and shit. <laughs> like, let's go, man. It's time for Ace Steel to... to do do what he needs to do to get his shit... Wait, wait a second. Wasn't this wasn't this black guy right here? Wasn't he just at Deli's house? Now he's at Mimi's house? What is going on? Oh, you're welcome for fixing the coffee machine. Now everyone's going to be making coffee all day long. Jeez. Uh, answer the phone. Uh, answer the phone. Mimi? 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 Ah, uh, Mimi? Okay, she's not home. <laughs> she's not home. Oh, yeah, something funny happened in the last recording of this episode. I, uh, I was in the bathroom taking a shower. And, like, right when I hopped out of the shower and he's still naked, like, standing out, Mimi walks in, so she got, like, a full frontal look. <laughs> I was like raging. I was rambling on about that first. I, I don't even remember what I said, but that is something that happened, bro. Oh yeah. Also, apparently, you when uh, you go in the jacuzzi. I don't know if it's for everyone, but if you go in the jacuzzi, you go in naked and shit. <laughs> Either I don't know if that's everyone does that or just Mimi, but definitely Mimi. Like that shit was funny as fuck. I like tried to hurry up out there, but I missed it. No. Ah, <sighs> you know, actually, you know, reading a book is not the most efficient way. I think watching TV is. At least. Oh yeah, he's hungry. He's hungry. I know what it's like to be hungry, man. I, I'll, I'll feed you, don't worry. And he stinks. Jeez, we're gonna be up all night. We're gonna be up all night trying to, to get our skills up, bro. I don't even think we're not even gonna be able to get a promotion the next time we go to work. That's how. That's how in a bad situation we are right now. You know, sometimes it's better. Oh shit! No, don't pee your pants. No. Damn. You know. Ace, you look kind of tense. Okay, I thought she was going to make fun of me for uh, peeing my pants there for a second. <laughs> oh shit, she she did. She said that's a no. That's a no-no, Ace. You just no-noed all over the floor. You know, if someone comes over me, me, you should greet them, not me. I'm sick of this shit, you know? Oh shit, look at how terrible. What if I died? <laughs> if I died, would that would that be like the worst run of The Sims busting out ever? <laughs> Definitely. All right, see ya, man, and don't come over again for the rest of the night, okay? This guy will end up coming over at like three in the morning and shit. Everyone's sleeping. He's like at the front door, ringing the doorbell and shit. All right, shower, shower, good, good. You know, what? I'm just gonna hop right into bed. Oh, damn it, damn it. Oh yeah, that's an, that's that's an, that's one thing about this game is that you can't freaking um like when you set actions for your Sims to do at the top left, as you can see. Like, I can do this and set multiple actions. In this game, you can only press B and uh, exit out of the most recent action you put. So, like, if I'm sleeping and, like, I put the shower on and then I tell my son to use the bathroom as that, but then the bus comes and I have to work, I literally have to exit out the bus, shower, bathroom, and bed to stop me from sleeping and then go and do, I don't know, the fucking go to work real quick if I want to. I think in The Sims 3, you can actually... Ah, uh, my bus will arrive in an hour. Cool. I think in The Sims 3 you can actually exit uh, actions that are more that are older that you've uh, set up, which is cool. Which is definitely a good thing. I mean, it's it's definitely a drag to have to fucking exit out of all the most recent things you did just to fucking exit out of what you're currently doing. All right, stop sleeping, Ace. Jesus Christ, you're in the green. Ugh. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's that's literally how I am when I have to get up and go to work in like two minutes. <laughs> Run! You know what's stupid? I think if you miss the bus, I don't think there's any possible way to go to work. I mean, it's funny because you own a car, but you still take the bus to work. Like, is that, is, isn't that weird? Like, why? Why? I guess we're saving gas, but we're also spending money to take the bus. But I guess the bus is cheap. I don't know how much it is. 
I don't know how much the bus will run. The bus company runs you nowadays to take the bus. But back when I used to take it, it was like a dollar. It was like a dollar for uh, for adults, I think. Or maybe like maybe like a dollar fifty. I don't know. It was cheap though. It was pretty cheap. And then you could get like a, a bus pass, or if you pay, you can get like a a slip, like this little slip. I forgot what it was called, but like you pay, you give her the dollar, and then you ask for like one of the trans transfer slips or something like that so then you get another one other bus ride for free because some you're gonna take the bus to go somewhere and then you're gonna need to take the bus back you know so you need that transfer slip so that you can take the bus back and you don't have to pay another fucking dollar you know all right now let's watch fucking tv dude all right okay or eat or eat i guess i would eat also wow mimi actually picking up the fucking dishes i'm proud of you little sis that's what I'm gonna call you, little sis, because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to call you. All right, but we're definitely gonna watch the TV, and then we're gonna try to get a charisma up because we got to. We got to do that. Look at me. What am I? What am I even watching? All right, can we turn this freaking music off, dude? Like this shit's kind of loud. It's kind of loud in my ear, man. You know? You ever had something loud in your ear? Well. Good, good for you, lucky, because that's how I'm going right now. Oh, and then I guess Mimi has her little phases where she like will not stop until you talk to her and shit. Ah, yeah. Literally, like entertainment, the entertainment mood is like the worst fucking mood to get up, dude. Like, look at how slow it's going. Like, come on, man. Jeez. Oh, I guess maybe watching TV while talking will definitely will definitely help you out a little bit. You know, I like that. I like how fast it's going up now. But there are definitely, um, there are definitely better ways to get your entertainment up. Ace, hey, check this out. The better your mood, the better you can socialize. Wow, oh, I totally didn't know that. You cunt. You cunt. Alright, uh, hmm. I guess it's at a decent, it's at a decent amount, so we can, uh, go use the bathroom. Ugh. Look at how dirty this is about to be right now, you know? I should probably clean that first. Oh, okay, alright, or just use it. No! Uh, Mimi, Mimi, I hope you didn't see that. My dick was out. My dick was out. My dick was out. Holy shit. Holy shit. Did you see anything? Well, you know what? That's okay. I'm not ashamed. Don't even... Don't you dare tell me to get out. Oh, oh, so what? Now you're gonna use the bathroom? I don't think so, biatch. Get your ass out of here. Oh, yeah, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight over who's going to the bathroom here. We're fighting. We are fighting. That's right. Get your ass out. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. And guys, that is how you win the bathroom war. Of who's going to use the bathroom first. Alright. Alright, so now let's try and get our charisma up. You just Literally the only way to do it in this game is just to practice your speech in a mirror. I think there might be another way. I don't know. But this is like the most efficient way. I don't think you can get your charisma up by talking to Sims like you can in the other games. In Sims 3, for sure, that's how you do it. And this is going to be dreadful because if you look here... Uh, if you look on the bottom, right next to the movie star career track, there's like a green smiley face with a zero and a zero next to it. Eventually, when we get higher up in the promotion ranks, uh, there will be numbers that you have to achieve. And I think that means like best friends, how many best friends you have. Later, I'm club hopping with my friends. You have friends? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but eventually we're going to have to make best friends and shit, and that sucks, man. I hate it. I hate it in The Sims 3, especially in The Sims 3, because you lose friendships, and when you lose friendships, you lose those, uh, those points f towards your promotion, you know? And it sucks, man. It's, it's shitty. Because I always pick the political career track in The Sims 3, because I feel like it's just awesome to be, like, the president, pretty much. The leader of the free world, I think, is the highest. Alright, we just need two, okay? We just need fucking two. Yes. All right. I like how she's like, I'm going clubhouse with her friends, but yet there is a freaking social interaction move there. You know, can we go? Actually, I'm going to try and get my mood up because I want to get a promotion. So let's just go to bed, I guess. Yeah, go to sleep and then we'll wake up and hopefully we'll go to work and everything will be all right. You know, I love when you go to sleep. It just it the time goes triple fast. I love that. I love it because that's the fastest possible speed that time can go, you know. I know there's some times in life where you wish that time could go this fast, like when you're at work. But honestly, for me, work goes pretty fast, you know? Especially with the things that we do. Like, usually, I've, I've, I've had jobs where, like, 
you're there and you just keep looking at the clock and like a minute hasn't even passed yet and it feels like it's been an hour yeah I've had jobs like that but my current job is awesome because time goes by super fast because I'm always doing something even if it's not the most productive thing I'm always doing something and when you're doing something time goes by so much faster so all you people who out there especially all you lazy people out there who are at your job not doing shit try doing something time will go by faster I, I promise you alright and I'm not picking on you I don't I didn't mean to offend anyone if I say lazy workers I just mean if you do something time goes by a lot faster I'm just telling you so then you don't have to time, complain about the time you know I'm just saying I'm just saying actually I'm gonna try and drink some of this espresso because I want to see exactly oh yeah you want to drink espresso in the morning you know and it doesn't make any of your I'm just gonna have a snack make my friggin you're going to the mall at 6 a.m. Jeez, is the mall even open? God, is there even a mall around here? All right, let's eat. All right. See, in The Sims 3, when you eat a snack, it goes up a lot more than that. All right, let's try and do as much as we can before we have to go to work. In like five minutes, it's going to be like an hour until the bus comes. Yep, there it is. See, this is why I like showers, because baths take way too long, dude. Look at this. I'm not even going to be able to do anything else. All right, come on, come on. Nice, nice. All right, come on, use the bathroom. Nice, God, we did it. I think we're gonna get promoted, guys. I don't know if they do it in this game, but in The Sims 3, I keep referencing The Sims 3. I know, I'll shut up eventually, but there's just so many things to compare the two games to because so much has improved since now, you know? But in The Sims 3, like when you go to work, you don't have to worry about your food like your uh, your food um, mood because I think uh, it actually registers that you eat like a lunch at work so like your food will go up I don't know if it does it in this game I'll, I'll kind of I'm gonna pay attention and see if it does I don't think it does but yeah in the sims 3 it does that like you get it actually registers you as eating a lunch so like you'll see your food go up while you're at work I think something else. Oh yeah, I think the bathroom might actually go up too. Like you might use the bathroom at work sometimes. But no, as you can see, it doesn't do it here. It would have done it by now because I'm about to be home in like an hour. Oh no, or like two seconds. All right, please tell me I got promoted. Please tell me I got promoted. See, there's no promotion bar in this game, so you can't tell. I think you just pretty much have to have your skills up. Yay, we're now stunt double. Yeah, we're number one and number one too. Ace of Impronto Stunt Double, the freak accident where you set your hamster suit on fire impressed the studio so much they promoted you to Stunt Double. Build up that body and make some friends quick so you can land a real acting gig. Next promotion, Horror Movie Extra. Ace now works from 9am to 3pm starting immediately. Ace brought home $200 today and got a bonus of $400. You completed a goal. Yeah, we got the floor lamp. And now we can move to Goth Manor. You got two job promotions. You can now move out. Just hop in your vehicle and you are out of here. That's right. You're damn right I'm out of here. I'm out of this bitch. I hate you, Mimi. I don't care about you. I never cared about you. I don't want to be here anymore. No, but honestly, it's not that, you know, I don't like Mimi and shit. But I think you have to move. Because my current job level requires you to live at the Goth Manor. So if, I'm, if I stay here, like when my job, when the bus for my job comes, it'll be like... The bus for work will come today, but you need to live at Goth Manor because that's where the bus goes. Moving out, I wish you wouldn't leave, but I know you need to move on. Thanks for fixing all the stuff. You're the best friend ever. I'm going to miss you so much. Stop by anytime, Ace. Well, okay, this place is worth more now than you got here. I'll pay you back for your improvements. Mimi owes Ace $225. So does she owe me or she did she pay me immediately? Because that's there's two that's two different things, okay? If you owe me money, that means you didn't pay me. If you gave me the money, that means you gave it to me, okay? All right, but this is exciting. We're gonna get. To, this is honestly. I mean, I, I played a lot faster this time. In my previous recording, that messed up. I didn't even make it. I didn't even get the promotion, and I didn't even move out yet. So I'm definitely going a lot faster in this one. So I, I guess this recording is turning out pretty decent. You know, I still think the last commentary of the last episode was a lot funnier, but it's it's okay. That is all right. That is all right because we're gonna get to see Goth Manor. Which is pretty much in like every Sims game known to man. There's always some goth fucking house that you can move into. And it's always fucking creepy as shit, of course. Huh. Hey, hello. Um, I'm here to move in, apparently. 
Haunted house? The only scary thing I see is your failure to pay me the rent. Watch out, I need to get some of my money back. No, Malcolm, stop! Malcolm Merlin. The Black Arrow. Raz al Ghul. The guy, or should I say the guy without an arm, or the guy without a hand now. <laughs> no, he's taking the fucking... That thing, no. Oh no, and he's taking the skeleton of a monkey, I think. Holy shit. This guy is a madman. He's a monster. And we can't talk to him. <laughs> Alright, what do you got to say? Ah, Ace, welcome. It appears you are the sole applicant for our grave problems. Can you help us lift our spirits? This place certainly went downhill since the ghost took over Mortimer. Sounds like Tortimer from Animal Crossing. Listen, you buy stuff we need, I'll look for creepy antiques that will fit in here. Uh, okay. Um. Alright, well, let's take a look at some of the goals to do here. Uh, get to the horror movie extra, yeah, yeah. Make friends with Mortimer or Bella. Control another sim by pressing the Z button. Oh, we can get a new car. Get, find the fern that was stolen from the Goths. I don't exactly remember how to do that. Buy $1,000 worth of improvements for the Goths. Exercise the ghost by holding a seance. Get to Virus Breeder. So yeah, there's a lot of shit to do here, as with Mimi's. So let's just start out by talking, I guess. Whatever. We'll, we'll get through it, don't worry. We'll get through this shit together. Tommy, watch My mom? How did my mom know I moved? I didn't, I didn't call her. This girl's name is Bella. I like that name. I like that name a lot. Ooh, Bella. That's such a cute name. Like, holy shit. Like, that's like when you go to Italy and you find out the girl's name is Bella. Like, that's literally... Oh, man. That is a hot name. For a hot woman, I guess. I guess with these graphics, you know. Ace Steel is definitely attracted to her. I can tell. Alright, we need to become good friends with this chick, alright? Otherwise, we're never... Oh, what the hell is that? That is creepy. Look at Mimi visiting me. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, look at the organ. Oh, my God. So that's another way to get your creative skill up, I think. You can play that. But I'm just trying to get... Look at how fast, like... Oh, nothing. It must have been the wind. Okay, stop trying to act like this place isn't haunted. I know it's haunted, okay? It's fucking goth manor. Goths. I love how this game just makes fun of gothic people. Like, I can barely sleep with these ghosts constantly moaning and roaming. You gotta find a way to get rid of them. Oh yeah, I think uh, during the nighttime they actually... Like, ghosts actually haunt this place while you're sleeping. Like, you can't sleep and shit. We'll just have to see, I guess. I don't think we're gonna be able to get to that in this episode, but... After I get this fucking thing up with Bella, make good friends. Don't leave, Bella, don't leave! No, of course she leaves. Alright, well, she'll be back later. Anyways, let's go inside, see our new house. The interior, looking pretty nice. The thing about this game is there is no upstairs and there's no basements, so... Yeah, every house in this game will just be one floor. But the better houses have more to it, you know? So, like, at the end of the game, you'll get Malcolm's Mansion, but it's technically it's not a mansion, I guess, because there is no upper stairs, there's no basement, nothing, you know, it's just literally like this. Honestly, I don't even think Malcolm's Mansion is this big. <sighs> Alright, well, you got a nice little look at the, at, at the goth manor, and the next episode we will continue the game here. Alright, sayonara.